These six shoes are worth $50,000. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down each and every one of them and explaining to you guys why they're worth so much. So before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know, I'm gonna be going in order based off of what you guys rank these shoes. So I posted a poll on my Instagram story to see what everybody's results will be. And I took those results and we're gonna put them in that exact same order, going from least favorite to most favorite at the end of the video. And also stick around because after I get done reviewing this whole set, I'm actually gonna be buying one of these shoes. So let's go ahead and get started with the first sneaker and that's gonna be the Florida Gator Air Jordan 4. With 76% of the people saying fire and 24% of the people saying trash, honestly, I was very surprised to say that this came in as the least favorite shoe on the list. Now, this may be because of people's personal preferences when it comes to the actual colleges that they like, but when it comes to this colorway and the sneaker with the blue suede and everything on the upper, me personally, I think these would probably potentially go in the top three when it comes to these six shoes. But again, to each his own, I'm excited to see what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now, going Going throughout this shoe right here this pair in particular was made for the football team so you can see the branding on the back end of the tongue with the football embroidered right here and then on the front end of the tongue you got your florida gators logo you got your all blue suede throughout the upper with the speckled translucent arms on the back end of the foot and then here right here on the eye stays at the front end of the foot these come with a standard pair of blue wax laces and an additional orange white and green laces as well so you got four sets of laces that come with this shoe now one thing that i am kind of scared about when it comes to any of these sneakers from this pack is they all have translucent outsoles and we know what that means it looks really really dope when you first get the shoe but then later in time what happens the shoe starts to yellow and then it kind of looks kind of weird so especially on a sneaker like this now maybe for the michigan four you know that's a shoe that already has yellow on it so that makes sense but if i see this yellow in time I might be kind of scared of that. So let me know what you guys think about that as well when it comes to yellowing and everything like that. Now, besides that, other details on the shoe, you're gonna have white on the bottom half of the midsole and then a blue midsole with the orange speckle all throughout that and on the front end as well. And then on the back tab is gonna match that same thing. Blue back tab with the orange speckle and the orange jumpman. Now, next up on the list right here, we have the Oklahoma Air Jordan 4. This is again, another crazy one that I was not expecting to see this low on the list. And it might be because of college preferences like we were talking about earlier but this right here is definitely a very very clean shoe when it came to the polls the percentages were 81% saying fire and 19% of the people saying trash and again I think this would easily be in the 90 percentile especially saying with some of the GRs and other sneakers that have come out in the past especially when it comes to Air Jordan 4 colorways alone but again to each his own everybody likes what they like so these right here is going to be very similar to the Gators and honestly all these shoes do have a lot of similarities when it comes to the overall materials the clear outsoles the speckling and everything like that but this is just going to be with that oklahoma vibe to it so you're going to have the logo right here on the front and then on the back end of the tongue it's going to say football and then you got the speckling here on the back end around the heel and on the midsoles also with the clear arms with the speckling with the white and burgundy on there as well now these have a standard pair of white laces i think they have additional laces that come with it as well i'm not sure some of these other shoes they all look like they do so it might be missing a pair of laces but i'm pretty sure this one is the only one out of the bunch that has just white. I don't know, there might be another one. I have to check and see on that. Let me know if you guys know anything about that down below in the comment section. But this is definitely a very, very clean shoe. And obviously, as you can see from the in-hand shots as well, the details and the materials are really nice on this sneaker. Now, before we get into the next shoe, I'm sure some of you guys are still sticker shocked by the price that you saw earlier in the video and don't know much about PEs and college editions and things like that. A PE is a player exclusive or a player edition sneaker. So that's kind of what you see right Right here on the line and what exactly does that mean that means that these shoes right here were made specifically for those colleges and not only just for the college but the actual teams for the college so that makes it even more rare so for example if the sneaker was made for a basketball team which some of these sneakers were and those are actually more rare than some of these sneakers that were made for the football team because obviously a football team has more players on it than a basketball team so typically when you see an oklahoma sneaker or a gator sneaker made for the football team that means there could be probably around 200 to 250 pairs that were ever produced. And when you think of the grand scheme of things, that is very, very rare. But when you think about a basketball team, now you're talking about somewhere between 30 and 50 pairs produced. So that's definitely gonna make it a lot more rare when it comes to that aspect as well. So let's take it to the third shoe and see what everybody else thinks comes in third place. And that is the Michigan Air Jordan 4. These are gonna be ranked with 87% of the people saying fire and 13% of the people saying trash. Now these ones right here are also another very clean shoe. You got the all navy on the upper. And honestly, I think you could rock these with a lot of different outfits throughout any times of the year as well. Now the suede, my 
might be something you might have to worry about when it comes to raining but overall i think this is definitely a very nice shoe and i might rank these a little bit lower on the list just because it's a lot more neutral and easier to rock but that might rank a little bit higher because of other reasons i don't know everybody's looking for different reasons why they like different shoes so when it comes to these right here in particular you got two additional sets of laces and you got your standard navy laces so you got the yellow the white and the navy right here and then on the inside of the insoles you got the yellow jump man you got your michigan logo right here on the tongue and on the back side it's going to be all in yellow with the football right here embroidered and then the same thing speckling with the two-tone white with a different color here and then you got the back tab with the navy and the yellow with the jump man and the speckles and on the arm same thing navy blue and yellow speckling on here so honestly a lot of these are again like i said going to be very very similar but they're going to be unique to their own schools and that's what make them all a little bit different next up on the list we have the georgetown air jordan fours now these right here are going to be a little bit different when it comes to the coloring like we saw on the back ends of these shoes i know we always see that like we saw right here all navy with the navy tab and then the yellow speckling this one's kind of the opposite it's going to be all gray with the navy tab and the gray speckling so that's going to give you a little bit of a difference right here on the sneaker as well but when it comes to the other aspects of the shoe those are very similar but one thing that's special about this shoe in particular these were made for the basketball team as you can see on the back end of the tongue and then you got your georgetown branding right here on the front end of the tongue so that like we said earlier that means this shoe is going to be a lot more rare a lot more exclusive and a lot more expensive when it comes to the price tag on these simply because there's probably around 50 pairs that are floating around and obviously some players still have their pairs and they always make a couple extras for different teammates and coaches and ex-players and different things like that but either way at the end of the day this is definitely a very very rare sneaker and i think this could easily be in the top three and it makes sense why this is a little bit higher on the list let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section and before we go to the next shoe i gotta mention right here these have four laces so you have your gray laces these are all wax laces premium laces you got more of a i wouldn't say like a sky blue but a lighter blue right here you got the white and then you got the navy so i think these will look clean with all these different lace options let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section as well so we got two sneakers left and i'm telling you right now it was a nail biter when it comes to the finish and i'm telling you i'm kind of surprised by this honestly i'm very very surprised by these results but it's okay we're going to show you guys what the second place shoe is the unc air jordan fours so these right here i know are high high up on a lot of people's list and these were actually made for the football team so they're a little bit less rare when it comes to that aspect because it wasn't for specifically just the basketball team or anything like that and because of that there's more pairs which makes the price a little bit more i guess less desirable but at the same time you got a lot to worry about because unc is the school that michael jordan went to and to anytime you see a unc air jordan pe in any colorway any retro you name it it's just always going to hold a little bit more weight in the game just because that's the school that he actually went to so it's dope to see him having his signature line and his signature colorways and all those things giving back to the school so there's a lot of huge unc fans out there around the nation it makes a lot of sense why this would be top on the list in my head i was thinking this was going to be number one but it fell in second place and that makes a lot of sense actually no i take that back that doesn't make that much sense to me but i kind of get it because this next one is just it's really rare and it's honestly a hard pe to find when it comes to any of their retros but these right here you got all baby blue on the upper when it comes to the suede baby blue on the midsole it's gonna be a little bit different color than the suede right here so it doesn't blend in as much but then you got that navy speckling you got the baby blue tab right here with the navy speckling and the navy jump man on the back end Got the UNC logo on the front, football tongue on the back end, navy right there. And then these come with an additional pair of white laces. So you got the UNC laces, then you got the white laces right here. Might've been dope to see them add with the navy laces as well, but honestly, I'm not tripping either way. I think these look really clean with the UNC colored all throughout the upper right here. And then you got that translucent outsole, looking oh so icy, scared of yelling, but as of right now in time in life, these look really, really good. So let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Oh yeah, and these are the results that everybody said. 94% of the people chose fire and 6% of the people chose trash. And that right there makes a lot of sense to me. Now let's take it to the next one because these ones just ranked a little bit higher than these. Right here, we have the Marquette University Air Jordan 4s. So this is a school that has been sponsored by Jordan Brown for a while. We have seen them get PEs every now and then. We've seen other retros and different things like that, but they always 
always kind of fly under the radar when it comes to like everybody desiring it and we everybody talking about it. But for some reason, they're always a lot more hard to find. And because of that, it makes the shoe even more rare, more scarce, even though there's probably the same production amount when it comes to some other ones that have the same, you know, made only for the basketball team. But for some reason, maybe the Marquette people or the equipment managers or who is it, I don't know. They just got everything on lockdown over there and it makes it just a lot harder to access these shoes. So I could understand maybe that's why people voted for it. And yes, it is a very, very clean shoe. I think the blue on the back end matching the tongue on the back end right here with the light blue, definitely a nice touch. And then you got the different color of speckling right here on the midsoles as well. You got the baby blue and the yellow and you got that same kind of vibe right here on the translucent arms on the side end of the foot. And then you got those same right here, except for this is a navy blue and yellow here with the navy Jumpman on the back end. Translucent outsoles, and then you got the baby blue right here on the air unit. And these come with three additional laces, so you got four standard laces on these. You got navy blue, baby blue, white, and yellow. I feel like that yellow, honestly, might really, really pop on this shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. The percentages on these were very, very close. It was literally 95 percent people saying fire and five percent of the people saying trash so literally one more percent better than the unc some people could call it a tie some people could say it's the other way around some people may not even think these are in the top two or top three of these six in the batch i don't know let me know what you guys think down below all right you guys we are back and as promised i got a pair of shoes for my collection from the set i'm not exactly sure if i want to put the whole set together but I saw these at a good deal and I was like, you know what? It only makes sense. I got to pick these up. And I, you know, the yellowing on the soles is something that I'm kind of worried about. So I've kind of always stayed away from this Jordan 4 series set in particular because of all the outsoles on them. But at the same time, again, these shoes are clean. Either way, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering what shoe I got. So let's go ahead and crack the box open. So as you can see right here, you have your classic Air Jordan 4 box lifting off the lid you got your black paper and then you got the shoe oh you got this shoe so i'm sure you guys already saw the detailed shots and the in-hand looks of all these sneakers but this is the one that i ended up picking up the michigan air jordan pe and it's actually great because i got the jordan sixes as well for my collection a while back so i'm excited to be able to add these to the collection with the air jordan sixes i think the fives are extremely fire as well with the all yellow on the upper definitely a nice shoe so i got a couple other michigan pe PEs in my collection as well if you guys want to see my michigan pe collection or whatever we got going on let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see any other like i said pe stuff or anything like that let me know i'll try to get as much as i can out for you guys as soon as possible i'll see you guys in another one all right y'all i'm out Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy, and I'll see you guys over there.